Hello and welcome back fellow PowerShell engineers. Hey, we're about ready to dive into something really cool, which is the PowerShell profile. Now a PowerShell profile is a script that is executed automatically when you start a PowerShell session. It allows you to customize your PowerShell environment by defining your own aliases, functions, variables, modules. And as a systems engineer, you may want to simplify common commands or perhaps things you're using a lot, longer commands. Hey, I'm checking I don't know, the file permissions on a particular directory. It would be nice if that was just one command kind of thing. So by utilizing a profile, you can define these things in the session automatically every time it's opened. And a simple way to check what profiles you've got is to use the profile environment variable. You pipe that to a select object. Star. And we see all of our different profiles listed right there. So the current user current host is going to be the one that I'm most interested in. So when we browse there though, we may not see that it's necessarily there. Actually, let's just do one for, let's see, yeah, let's do all users, all hosts. So let's go ahead and open the Windows Explorer. Browse all the way down. And we don't see a, po a profile when we get here, right? So if we go ahead and open our ISE, and we'll make a new one. What I want to do is actually create what's called an alias. So I guess I could have made this an alias section two, but we're going to do a new alias. And that alias, if config, so this is actually a Linux command, interface config that gives us the IP configuration. Um, it's kind of similar to net IP configuration in PowerShell, but obviously it's much shorter to type than that. Sorry, get net IP information. So let's, uh, I'm accustomed to typing this from having worked with Linux systems over the years. So I'm going to get that new alias. I'm going to Define it as get net IP configuration. Then is just save it as profile that PS one in that location. So we'll save it as profile. It's asking me, do I want to save it there? Oh, so because I don't have the the permission to do that, hang on. Let's say no. Let's save it in our scripts and then I'll just move it there. Hang on, let's squeegee this out. There's our profile. And we'll go back. I'll go ahead and paste it there use my admin privileges. So we're still in our old session here. So if I type if config, that's not gonna work, right? That out. Let's go ahead and start a new session. Let's type if config now. Boom. It gives me my information that I needed for uh, the get net IP configuration. So notice we get the exact same thing, but we uh, don't have to type nearly as much. And plus it's also the idea with an alias is that it's a, a command that we know. Well, less important about the alias is, even though that's a common thing that we use with the profile, is that we can put anything we want in that profile. So if we need modules loaded, if we need other aliases defined, maybe you want some kind of variable already predefined or some locations defined, we can use our profile to do that. So it's a really powerful feature of PowerShell. I highly recommend at least building one and getting something, even if it's just this, just so you have it. 
So as you think of things, as you're moving along your PowerShell journey, you might uh, you could go up and be like, oh, I already have a profile defined there. I already know where it is. And uh, we can, you know, you can go just add it easily. So definitely give that a shot now. And we'll go ahead. We'll see you in the next lesson.